I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. Today we will see how we can install MySQL on Linux. I'm using Alma Linux here just because it's one of the Linux very popular. It uses uh, RPM, so like Oracle Linux, Fedora, Red Hat, CentOS. So the first thing we do, we go on the devmysql.com and we will download the package to install uh, the YUM repository. So here we go on YUM repository and we download the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, Oracle Linux 9 RPM package which is the same. And I will open it with the software installed, the default. Let's install the MySQL 8 community release and repository configuration. I need to add my user password and it's installing everything. So now it's done. So now in the terminal, I will run sudo dnf. So dnf is the package manager, search MySQL community to see what uh, is available. We can see that we have MySQL community server. This is what we are going to install today. I do now sudo dnf installed mysql community server to install the server. So this is how we install the latest mysql 8 on Linux RPM based. So we see it's 8031. It installed mysql server, some default command line clients, libs. We accept the key that signs the package and now the system is installing everything. So here it's RPM based, so I use a, a DNF, but it's almost the same when you use a DEP um, system like Debian or Ubuntu, but then it's not RPM anymore. But you install it to MySQL Community Server in command line like we do now. So the first time when we install MySQL and when we start it, so to do, I use systemctl, sudo systemctl uh, start MySQL D. MySQL will initialize securely and it will generate a password for the root user a random password, secure password. That password, we're gonna find it in the um, MySQL log file or error log called. So first we check that MySQL is started. So we do systemctl status MySQL D and we see that it's active running. And now we need to find also the password. So I do a sudo grep minus i password in varlock mysql d and have the temporary temporary generated password for uh, the root user. So now we'll inst install another um, program with this mysql shell, which is the uh, command line uh, client, uh, the new one uh, for mysql. So the one I advise you to use and that we're gonna use through all the, the session we're gonna do this uh, for um, the one-on-one -on -one session for MySQL. So I am installing MySQL shell. And once MySQL shell is installed, I'm going to use it to connect to the MySQL server running on my system and modify the password. I need to use the, the temporary password and need to set the new password. So I use MySQL SH. I want to connect in SQL using root at localhost. I here paste 
the password, the, um, the new password, not need to save it in the credential because I need to change it. We can see here it asks you must reset your password using alter user statement. So I can also use set password and I put equal my new password. And that's it. If I try to reconnect using the old credentials, we can see that it's attempting to reconnect and nothing works. So it's, it was not able, we need to connect. So let's connect root.localhost again. This time we're gonna use the new password we uh, added. And as this one is the new password, we can save it in the uh, credential. So we are in MySQL server, we can check here the status. So thank you very much. Yeah.